beautiful people big up to everyone watching if you are new welcome to the family today we'll be looking at the 15 science questions pep students need to use to prepare for their 2022 exams this is the third video in this series we already posted the ability test questions and the social studies test questions that the Ministry of Education says PEP students need to use to prepare for the 2022 exams. We will do our best to post the videos covering the other subject areas in the next few days. At the end of this video, I'll tell you where you can find more resources that will help you to prepare. What I'll be doing for today is reading the questions, I'll give you the answers, and I'll tell you what you need to study in order to prepare for your exams. So, let's jump right in. Item 1. Which statement completes the definition for overgrazing? Overgrazing refers to A. Having too many animals on a small piece of land B. Catching too many animals in an area until very few animals are left C. The hunting of animals to the point that no animals are left. D. The heavy feeding of animals on vegetations until very little vegetation is left. The answer is D. Overgrazing refers to the heavy feeding of animals on vegetation until very little vegetation is left. For this question, you need to know the definition of overgrazing, but this is under the broader topic of soil degradation, so that is something that you need to study guys. Item 2. Which is not a suitable recommendation to prevent soil erosion? A. Cut flat areas resembling steps into the hillside. B. Maintain a thick cover of vegetation on the land. C. Allow animals to graze on the land. D. Improve how water drains off the land. The answer is C. Allow animals to graze on the land. Again guys, this is under the broad topic of soil degradation and how it can be prevented. So make sure you study that, alright? Item 3. The picture shows a human activity. Use a picture to answer item 3. The question is, which is the most likely effect of this activity on the environment? The activity could A. Result in the death of crops on nearby farmlands B. Create a breeding site for animals that spread diseases C. Result in the loss of trees and other types of vegetation D. Increase the number of landslides in the area the answer is B because this activity dumping garbage is most likely to create a breeding site for animals that can spread diseases. So for this question you guys need to have an understanding of how human activity affect the environment. Item 4. Examine the paragraph and bar graph below. Use the information to answer item 4. A healthy ecosystem is very important as it provides humans with many services. For example, trees provide us with food, medicine, they purify the air, for example by trapping dust, and remove carbon dioxide. Animals and plants provide pest control and recreation. Finally, the ecosystem directly or indirectly supports our survival and quality of life. So the question is which of the following could be a possible cause for the trend observed in the bar graph? By removing trees, A. Oxygen in the air increases and this leads to the increase in asthma cases. B. Impurities in the air increases and this leads to an increase in asthma cases. C. Airflow is prevented and this leads to an increase in asthma cases. D. Carbon dioxide in the air decreases and this leads to the increase in asthma cases. The answer to this one guys is B. Impurities in the air increases and this leads 
to an increase in asthma cases. How do we know that that is the answer? Well, first of all, if you look at the bar graph, as the number of trees that are removed increases, the asthma cases increases. And if you look at the information provided at the top of the bar graph, one of the purpose of trees is to purify the air. For this question, you need to understand the importance of conserving the natural environment and to be able to read information in a bar graph and interpret what it is saying. Item 5. The choices below describe effects of human activity or climate change. From the choices given, shade one letter in each space so that the resulting paragraph is correct. So here are the choices. A. Rising sea levels and the resulting loss of beaches. B. Increased flooding in low-lying communities. C. Rising carbon dioxide levels and the resulting temperature change. D. Death or illness in animals that depend on the river. So what you need to do guys is we'll have to identify whether A, B, C or D fits in the space. So let's read it. Oftentimes, fertilizers used on farms can get washed into nearby rivers. This can have a severe effect on the environment as it can result in A, B, C or D. The most suitable response here, you guys, is D, as it can result in death or illness in animals that depend on the river. Let's continue. The environment can also be harmed when communities and roads are built on hillsides, as this may cause B, it can cause increased flooding in low-lying communities. Let's continue. As global temperatures continue to increase, A. Rising sea levels and the resulting loss of beaches can be observed in many locations around the world. Alright, so for this one again you guys need to know your environment and understand how human activity affects it. Alright, next item. The table below shows for four different locations. The average rainfall along with the combined mass of freshly fallen leaves and rotten leaves. The table also shows for each location the mass of rotten leaves alone. Use the information to answer item 6. You need to understand how to read table grids. Here's a question. Read each statement in the table below. Indicate by shading the appropriate circle whether you agree or disagree with the statement. Statement 1. If the average rainfall for location 4 is 400 mm, the percentage mass of rotting leaves will increase. I agree with this. The answer is A. Because the more rainfall, the more rotten leaves. So if rainfall increases, then the percentage of rotten leaves will increase. Statement 2. If location 3 experiences a severe drought, the percentage of rotten leaves would most likely increase. That is incorrect. The answer to that is B. So again you guys, for this one you need to understand how to read the table grids, look for relationship between the items in the tables. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Item 7. The diagram below shows light rays hitting a surface. Use the diagram to answer item 7. Which property of light is shown in the diagram? A. Absorption B. Refraction C. Reflection D. Scattering The answer is C. Reflection For this one guys, you need to understand how light interacts with different materials whether shiny, dull, transparent, translucent and opaque. So make sure you study those. The next item, the setup of an investigation involving four identical rubber bands is shown below. A student plucked each rubber band with equal force and observed that rubber band D produces the sound with the highest pitch. What conclusion can be made about rubber band D? Rubber band D 
A vibrated the slowest B weighs the most C vibrated the fastest D was the longest all right you guys so the answer to this one is C it vibrated the fastest so for this one guys you need to understand the properties of sound you need to understand that so make sure you look over that next item the continuous honking of car horns along with the sounds coming from the mufflers of car and bike is best classified as a high-pitched sounds b air pollution c noise pollution d warning noise the answer to this is c noise pollution for this one you need to know the sources of noise pollution and know how to to classify them all right next item a diamond sparking in a brightly lit room could be classified as what type of object a luminous b non-luminous c opaque d translucent the answer to this one is b non-luminous so guys you need to be able to distinguish between luminous and the non-luminous objects and organisms so look up that all right next item the diagram shows the results of an investigation into how light interacts with a transparent bottle use the information to answer item 11 which statement is incorrect a pathway one two three shows refraction b pathways one two three shows reflection that's correct c pathway one two four shows refraction d the bottle allows light rays to pass through the answer to this is a pathway one two three shows refraction because that's not true this question is asking for you to identify the statement that is wrong and again guys what you need to know here is how light interacts with different materials next item use the information below to answer item 12 the table below shows the results of an investigation in which a student dropped five metal discs of different diameters and recorded the pitch of the sound made when they hit the floor. The student predicted that a metal disc with a diameter of 4 cm would produce a sound with a low pitch. Which statement best supports this prediction? A diameters of 5 cm can produce a sound with a low pitch b diameters 3 cm to 5 cm can produce a sound with a low pitch c diameters below 18 cm produce sounds of different pitch d diameter below 18 cm produce sounds with a high pitch the answer to this one you guys is b and we see it here in the table the disc with a diameter of 3 cm and the disc with a diameter of 5 cm both produce low sounds we can conclude a disc with a diameter of 4 also produces low sound for this question you need to understand the properties of sound but most importantly you need to be able to read the information in a table and draw conclusions from it all right we're almost at the end guys just hold on a little bit more we're almost there next item item 13 use the information in the table below to answer item 13 table showing the area of the light on a wall and the distance the flashlight was held from it so again you have a table that you have to read and interpret which is not a pattern seen in the data presented in the table a as the distance of the flashlight from the wall increases, the area of the light increases. B. As the distance of the flashlight from the wall decreases, the area of the light decreases. C. The area of the light on the wall is twice the distance of the flashlight from the wall. 
all right you guys so all three of those statements are observed so the answer must be d as the distance of the flashlight from the wall increases the area of the light decreases that is not a pattern that we see in the table so again you guys need to understand how to read table and make sense of it second to last item use the statement in the box and the diagram below to answer item 14 when the sun's rays pass through a magnifying glass the rays become focused on a single spot question which property of light is demonstrated by this activity light can a travel in a straight line b be refracted c be magnified d be reflected the answer is b you guys light can be refracted again you guys need to understand light the interaction between light lenses and mirrors last item read the statement below and then use the information to answer item 15 a student wanted to carry out a fair test to determine if the length of a nail would affect the pitch of the sound it made when it fell to the ground the student collected four nails and allowed each of them to fall to the ground the pitch of the sound that each nail made was recorded which two steps should be included in the investigation to ensure that it is a fair test ensure that the nails are all the same length b of different lengths c all drop from the same height mm -hmm. d drop from different heights e dropped on different surfaces all right so in order for this test to be fair the nails need to be of different lengths and the nails also need to be dropped from the same height so the answer to this is b and c for this one although you need to understand the properties of sound this question is really testing your knowledge on how to carry out investigations or, or scientific experiments congratulations guys for making it to the end of the video we know that you need a lot of help and that is why we created two playlists for you one for this video series which has the ministry of education's preparation guide for 2022 all the questions in this playlist were taken from the 2019 prep exams and they were handpicked by the people who know what is coming on this year's exams as i said earlier the videos for the other subject areas will be added as soon as they are posted the next playlist on this channel has a bunch of pep quizzes, mock exams and so on for you to get familiar with the types of questions and the different ways that they can show up on the exams. Now in the description box below, you will find a link that takes you to the Ministry of Education's website where you will find what they call sample test booklets 2022. Now the questions in these booklets are based on past papers. So that will help you a great deal in your preparation. That's it for now guys. Bye bye.